I am done achieving things only to not be fulfilled with them in the end anyways. For months, I was saying I'm on the verge of burnout, but the truth was I was already burnt out. I was emotionally drained, mentally exhausted, and tired all the time. My name is Janelle Frazier, the expert to follow to become genuinely happy, wildly successful, and a naked leader. All I knew was that my passion for life and business just disappeared. That desire and that motivation that was so natural to me just wasn't there. I used to be decisive and knew what I wanted and was excited to go after it. And all of a sudden, I didn't want to go after anything. In fact, not only did I not want to go after things, but I wanted to take every single thing that I've worked for in my life, everything that I've brought into my life, and I wanted to throw it all away. To leave relationships, to move away, to let go of my business. It was this state of I need to escape and get out of here or I am going to combust. So the first step for me was admitting what was going on. Admitting that I was mentally exhausted and emotionally drained and I wasn't on the verge of burnout, I was burnt out. I would be searching everywhere for the puzzle pieces you know, what is the thing that's gonna make a difference? What's gonna make me happy? What's gonna make me feel better? You know, when I was chatting with my fiance or friends or family, of course the main question is, well, what do you want? And I didn't want anything, I just wanted out. What I decided to do was commit to not playing that game anymore. And that was for me a, the second step that was really essential. I committed to not playing the game of overwhelm and burnt out, which means anything and everything that made me feel overwhelmed or exhausted or tired, literally in the moment, I just wouldn't do it. Which meant a significant drop in business activity, which meant a significant change in my everyday life. I had stories that I was lazy and weak running through my mind, but at the same time, I was proud of myself for giving myself this space. I was trusting and you know, following that gut instinct in my heart that was telling me that I should probably slow down and just back off. But at the same time, that loud voice in my mind that says, you're a leader, you have this business, people have expectations of you, your clients are expecting your business to grow, so you need to grow it. You need to keep pushing. And so there was this battle in my mind. But the second step for me was so loud and clear is that I'm just done playing that game. I am done achieving things only to not be fulfilled with them in the end anyways. So what I want a million dollar business? So what I want this big impact? What's really gonna fulfill me? I can have both. It doesn't have to be either or. But I had to pull back for a while and stop doing things that were not fulfilling that flared up that overwhelm because I needed to start to retrain my body that I wasn't just gonna push through her anymore and ignore the signs and symbols that I was gonna start to trust and listen to her. And I'm telling you that process was not easy. When have you stopped? When have you stopped? Because my relaxation time was really just doing more things and distraction time. Step three is really important to actually slow down and not do anything. Sometimes I think there's a phase where maybe you need to binge on Netflix and you need to, you know, distract yourself for a while. But when you're looking to find the answers, when you're looking for the action steps and how to move forward from this place, it's not found in distraction. It's found in tuning in so you can turn on your life. And I know for me, the big aha moment was, yeah, I'm pulling back and I'm not playing that game anymore, but I'm also distracting myself. I'm numbing. I'm running away from my own inner wisdom. I wanna warn you, if you have a business, if you have a job, if you have a family, if you have significant responsibilities and pressures and demands, 
You might be thinking that this is all great, Janelle. I would love to find quiet time and commit to not playing that game, but I've got things to do. And the truth is we all have things to do and your health, your mental capacity, your life, your goals, and your dreams are going to be destroyed quite literally if this is the path that you continue to commit to. So whatever you have in your life is what you're committed to. So if you want more freedom, more ease, more peace, more calmness in your life, then you need to commit to it, which means your behaviors and your actions and where you spend your time need to shift. And so I know we all have the list of to-dos, but the to-do list doesn't go away. It just doesn't. And so the only way to get out of this is to choose. Admit that it's an issue, commit that you're no longer playing that game, and get silent and listen for the answers. The answers won't come if you are being distracted. We learned that one just recently. <laughs> So if you liked this, I would love for you to give me a thumbs up and please share this wisdom along with your friends and share this video out. And you can subscribe to my channel here. Make it a great day.